there's mindfulness in here, there's uh, rhythmic breathing, just being conscious of our breath. Say that there's a whole bunch of different ways to meditate uh, because... Oh, I had to sit silent for like an right. hour. I found, I found art to be a meditation, you know. And I, so the walking meditation, yeah. you know, and like cooking be, can be a meditation, totally. you know. You don't have to, we don't have to put it in boxes. It doesn't have to be structured. It doesn't have to be overly defined. So a lot of different meditation exercises in the book. Yeah, a lot of different, uh, a lot of different types of meditation. Um, I really found, you know, I started with John Edwards tape, which was a lot of visualization stuff, mm -hmm. which was really great because I have a really squirrely mind. Okay, <laughs> I have a super hyperactive brain, and I'm a very visual person, so that worked for me, you know. But when I found like Buddhism in college, um, and I like the work of Thich Nhat Hanh and like mindfulness, mm -hmm. that had. You know, that play, has played a huge role in my development. So there's mindfulness in here. There's uh, rhythmic breathing, just being conscious of our breath. Mm -hmm. um, Some visualizations, I'm sure. There's visualization that. ones, yeah. And then even, uh, even, even I encourage people uh, to express themselves through art, whatever they want to, because I have found, I found art to be a meditation. You know, I found filmmaking mm -hmm. for me um, was a real gateway into becoming more intuitive and kind of more tapped in, being more observant, you know, mm -hmm. um, losing myself kind of in the moment, you know, those are, those are meditations, Yeah. you know, and I think sometimes we forget, we get caught up in like, oh, I got to sit cross-legged, you know, in a room, yeah. um, but anything that like you lose that sense of... Hey, anytime you go into that zone and mm -hmm. you're just perfectly, yeah, instead of... And so the walking meditation, yeah. you know, and there could be cooking can be a meditation, totally. you know, and like going through anything like that. Mm -hmm. But it is super powerful. And I, mm -hmm. I think that more people need to find that and realize that there is not I, I like that you say that there's a whole bunch of different ways to meditate because I do think that people limit their self and don't do it because they think that there's a one way for it. It's like kind of right. when people have a misconception on working out mm -hmm. and they think like, oh no, then that means that I have to spend two hours at the gym doing this. Mm -hmm. Well, no, you can play tennis and that can be a workout. You can go for a hike and that can be a workout. You can ride your bike and that can be a workout. You, they, you don't need to go to a certain structure and do certain weight reps in order right. for it to be a workout right you know yeah. and so it's the same thing for meditation and it's you know kind of just starting to come more broad you know because a lot of people have also that misconception of oh i had to sit silent for like an right. hour like or <laughs> like right. come on i can't even sit silent for two seconds yeah and it's like no you, actually that that's like you know just such a small mm -hmm. sliver of Different types of meditation, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Absolutely. I re and I really like that you're pointing that out because I think our tendency to try and provide structure to everything or to put things in a box, it, it works against what we are, you know? Mm -hmm. I believe that we're, we are, we are vessels in a channel for the unlimited, yeah. you know, source. Absolutely. So <clears throat> it's just going to, it's up to us to discover which way it wants to kind of come on. <laughs> through us you know how does it want to express itself through us but I, I love that you're pointing out you know let's you enjoying this so far did you forget to subscribe make sure to do so it takes two seconds just press that little button the red one you know the one just press it little like all right enjoy the rest of this content you don't have to we don't have to put it in boxes it doesn't have to be structured it doesn't have to be overly defined no not at all yeah I like that all right. And what kind of, uh, you teach classes and things, mm -hmm. right? And you teach meditation. Mm -hmm. um, where can people find you? Mm -hmm. So you can find uh, you can find stuff on thesoulforce.com. So you'll be able to find all kinds of information. And uh, do you sell copies of your book on there too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, you perfect. can grab copies on there. Uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble carry uh, the book as well. There's an audio book version. Um, you can find me on Instagram at the Bomberger. And then right. I'm going to be I'm going to be here yes. at Liberate uh, doing uh, the meditation intuition uh, workshop that I call Connecting to the Truth Within, and uh, it's a, an introduction to the intuitive senses, like what they are, how do we tap into them, and I take people through kind of like these little exercises so that they can see, oh shoot, I've been doing this, you know, this is how this stuff comes in, yeah, and like, then we do a guided meditation uh, seeking guidance from our higher self, so give people an opportunity to seek information or guidance or healing from their higher self. And after having kind of primed everybody with, here's the intro to the senses, see what comes through. I love it. Yeah. 
Well, thank you. I can't wait for your class. And, you know, if anybody has any other questions, uh, we'll put all of your handles down below here. So if people can just click on the website, click on the handles and stuff like that. But if you had to leave anybody with, or leave everybody with one thing, what would it be? Hmm. That's a great question. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pull from uh, one of my greatest mentors and my, one of my best friends and a, and a guy who helped me spiritually, has helped me personally, has helped me creatively. Um, his thing was always, um, you got to live your own life, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, I guess, at the core of the book, which is seeking your truth, you know, finding your truth, finding your connection to loving awareness. You, you want to seek that connection to loving awareness and live it, breathe it and express it in the way that feels exactly like what you're meant to do. So seek mm -hmm. it, find it, live it, and we'll all be better for it. Ah, uh, yes. We all have our own truth. Mm -hmm. If only we can find it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and hopefully they find it by coming to one of your classes and reading your book. <laughs> that would be okay too, yeah. If not me, someone else, you know? Oh, well, thank you so much. It's a pleasure getting to know you today. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is wonderful. Thank you. Till next time, guys. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.